This is called Up Off the Floor. It's made of sentences. <laughs> First, he had a lip for a trumpet, brass boy, campus king. Now he's got grandchildren from all over. Sing it. Wing it. Wait for no syntax. Walk forward into visible breath. Carlisle Square for Fred Waugh. It found me at the green jam of an open pane one bleak St. Lucy's morning, a scent of arbutus bark, salt, hot thimbleberries, and that stubborn subaltern poverty. It's rationed yes and no, my mother's yes and no. Architecture without architects, the railway worker self-made hut between the tracks, Calgarian suburban cul-de-sacs of social reproduction circle the prairie with loops dotted alongside the lines of agro-business. Lost bird caught in history's torrent, having no home to call my own, no refuge in the battering waves that come and come. Lulled by the promise of a good life, hapless gull I came looking. Gee. Blown off course by karmic winds, gold I was far from home in a wild estuary and its dream. We often queried the early evening light when the scents of another era courted the maple trees canopying the street. A quiet snail about to cross the sidewalk made for a parable in an otherwise lame attempt to conjure the comfort of rhyme. Dear bear, be aware. This door should make you stop and stare. Mostly fur and pretty thick. The bark is gone, but the scent is fixed. Dear dogs, late at night, our hunger is a love that bites. Kick it open, make it slide. Where's a door we haven't tried? Let's say a few words about Talon books first, about the relationship between Talon books and poetry. Talon started off as a magazine by a high school kid named David Robinson at McGee High School and started it up in 1963, which was just about the time when the Tisch crowd moved to all kinds of different cities to create poetry elsewhere. And then four years later, Talon published its first book of poetry, 